be our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present, fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from purity and save our souls, a good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Attend to my righteousness, O Lord. Give heed to my supplication. Give ear to my prayer, which comes not from deceitful lips. Let my judgment come forth from thy presence. Let my eyes behold uprightness. Thou hast proved thy, my heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me, so that my mouth might not speak the works of men. For the sake of the works, words of thy lips, have I kept the ways that are hard. Direct my steps in thy paths, so that my footsteps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast heard me, O God. Incline thine ear to me and hear my words. Show thy marvelous mercies, thou, O thou that savest them that hope in thee, from them that re resist thy right hand. Keep me as the apple of thine eye, O Lord. Thou shalt shelter me in the shadow of thy wings, from the face of the ungodly that oppressed me. My enemies surround my soul. They enclose themselves in their own fat. Their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encompassed me. They set their eyes to look down on the earth. They seize me like a lion, ready for his prey, and like a young lion dwelling in hidden places. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from the ungodly, thy sword from the enemies of my, thy hand. O Lord, from thy few separate, separate them from the earth in their life and their belly was filled with hidden treasures, and they were satisfied with sons, sons and the rem remnants they left to their babes. But as for me, I shall be seen in righteousness before thy face. I shall be satisfied when I see thy glory. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, I have put my trust in thee. Let me not be put to shame, neither let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, for none of them that wait on thee shall be ashamed. Let them be ashamed that transgress without cause. Make thy ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. And on thee I have waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my ignorance. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he set a law from them that sin in thy way. He will guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for them that seek his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall set a law for him in the way which he has chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and his covenant shall be made known to them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. 
The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Deliver me from my necessities. Look upon my lowliness and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied. And they hated me with, with an unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope on thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I waited on thee, O Lord. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done what is evil before, evil before thee. That thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unknown and hidden things of thy wisdom hast thou made known unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me, with, sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and establish me with a, will, with a governing spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I would have given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. To go to the Lord in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation whole burnt offerings. Then shall he offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. By thy cross thou didst destroy death, to, to the thief thou didst open paradise, for the myrrh bearers thou didst change weeping into joy, and thou didst command thy disciples, O Christ God, to proclaim that thou art risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou, O Lord, was baptized in the Jordan, the worship of the Trinity was made manifest. For the voice of the Father bore witness to thee, and called thee his beloved Son. And the Spirit, in the form of a dove, confirmed the truthfulness of his word. O Christ our God, who has revealed thyself, and has enlightened the world, glory to thee, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, who has budded forth the fruit of life. We entreat thee, O Sovereign Lady, intercede together with, thy, with the holy apostles, that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Today thou hast appeared to the universe, and the, thy light, O Lord, has shone on us, who with understanding praise thee. Thou hast come and revealed thyself, O unapproachable light. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. 
Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, were it long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who loveth the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who calls all salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guide and guarded by their hosts. We may attain to the unity of faith and to the knowledge of that unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth Antokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, Lord, Jesus Christ, God, have mercy on us. Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, thou only begotten Son, and thou, Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments known to thee, save me, thine unworthy servant, for blessed art thou to ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul. They have not set God before them. For behold, God helps me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He shall reward evils upon my enemies, utterly destroy them in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice to thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good, for thou hast delivered me out of every affliction, and mine eye has looked down upon my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and despise not my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation and troubled because of the voice of the enemy and because of the oppression of the sinner. For they brought iniquity against me, and in wrath they were indignant with me. My heart was troubled within me, and the fear of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling came upon me, and darkness has covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove? Then I would fly away and would be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off, and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for him that should save me from faint-heartedness and tempest. Drown them, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and strife in the city. Day and night it shall go around about on her walls, and iniquity and sorrow and unrighteousness are in the midst of her. And usury and deceit I have not, have not departed from her streets. For if an enemy had reproached me, I would have borne it, and if one who hated me had spoken evils against me, I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, O man of like soul, my guide, my guide, my own familiar friend, who together with me didst make our meals sweet. We walked in the house of God with one mind. Let death come upon them, and let them go down alive into hell. For wickedness is in their dwellings, in the midst of them. As for me, I cried to God, and the Lord heard me, evening, morning, and at noon. I shall recount and declare it, and he shall hear my voice. He shall deliver my soul in peace from them that draw near to me, for they were with me in great numbers. God shall hear and shall humble them, he that exists before the ages. For there is no change with them, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand for retribution, they have profaned his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts drew nigh. His words were smoother than oil, yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, O God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. <clears throat> he that dwells in the help of the Most High shall abide under the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge, my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from a troubling word. He shall overshadow thee with his shoulders, and under his wings shalt thou hope. His truth shall encompass thee with a shield. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the thing that walks in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou consider and see the reward of sinners. For thou, Lord, art my hope. Thou hast made the Most High thy refuge. No evils shall come upon me, and no scourge shall draw near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up on their hands, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the asp and the basilisk, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and the dragon. 
for he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he has known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, and I will deliver and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. By thy cross thou didst destroy death, to the thief thou didst open paradise. For the myrrh bearers thou didst change weeping into joy, and thou didst command thy disciples, O Christ God, to proclaim that thou art risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou, O Lord, was baptized in the Jordan, the worship of the Trinity was made manifest, for the voice of the Father bore witness to thee, and called thee his beloved Son. And the Spirit, in the form of a dove, confirmed the truthfulness of his word. O Christ our God, who has revealed thyself, and has enlightened the world, glory to thee, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. As we have no boldness on account of the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who was born of thee, for much more is the prayer of her mother, able to incline the Master unto kind-heartedness. Despise not the supplications of sinners, O all-pure one, for merciful and strong to save is he who condescended to suffer for us. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, Amen. The dominion of death can no longer hold men captive, for Christ descended, shattering and destroying its powers. Hell is bound while the prophets rejoice and cry. The Savior has come to those in faith. Enter ye faithful into the resurrection. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour and in heaven on earth are worshiped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who lovest the just and shows mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil and distress. <clears throat> Surround us with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by their host, we may attain to the unity of the faith, and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. <coughs> glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, without corruption thou give birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. <coughs> Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts and author of all creation, who in thine ineffable and tender mercy has sent down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind, and through his precious cross has torn up the record of our sins, and thereby triumphed over the princes and dominions of darkness. Do thou, O Master, who lovest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication, even from us sinners, and deliver us from every dark and deadly transgression, and from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts. Rather wound our souls with thy love, that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light, 
and beholding thee, the eternal light that no man can approach, we may offer up unceasing praises and thanksgiving unto thee, the Father without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, and that all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikhon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our command right Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy habitation, for this village, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Save us, 
have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Oh, I pray shall be free. 
persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you and men shall revive you and persecute you. And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Wisdom, stand upright.
Westminster, him who proclaims the glad tidings of the holy apostle and evangelist Luke. May God, through the prayers of the holy, glorious, all audible apostle and evangelist Luke, enable thee to proclaim the glad tidings of great power and the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, stand upright. Let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be unto what it meant, and they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passeth by. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And they which went before rebuked him that he should hold his peace. But he cried so much the more, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him, saying, What wilt thou that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith hath saved thee. And immediately he received his sight, and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto God. Life before us, 
here and in all the world, lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God. Metropolitan Tikhon, Archbishop Michael, Archbishop Mark, and Bishop Alexei, Archimandrite Sergius and Gabriel, the humans, Leontie and Cyprian, Archpriest John, Stephen, Alexander, Daniel, and John, Hieromonk and Akenti, <coughs> Priest Ignatius, Vincent, Michael, Paul, and Michael, Hieronymus and Mark, Monks Nicodemus and Kirill, Ross for Monks, Michael, Stephen, Stephanos, George, Paul, and Michael, Novices, Andrew, Jeremiah, and Plunta Layman, Noah, Zachary, Subdeacon Martin, Readers, John, Ezekiel, Paul, Benedict, Richard, and Joshua, Nani, Oana, Ross for Nana, Nubria, Catherine, Dorothy, Alexandra, Abigail, Elizabeth, Amelia, Gail, Anastasia, and Rachel, Mary, Judith, Ann, Patrick, Maria, Zenia, John, Anastasia, Eugene, Christopher, John, Anton, Ekaterina, Matthew, Matthew, Mickey, Jim, Eric, Earl, and Michael, all the seminarians, faculty, administration, staff, alumni, trustees, benefactors, and pilgrims of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Lord, have mercy. O physician of souls and bodies with compunction and broken hearts, we fall down before thee and cry, heal the sickness, heal the passions of soul and body of thy servants. Archimandrites Gabriel and Zacharias, Segula, Leonti, Archpriest, Alexander, Peter, Vasily, Yaroslav, Emilian, John and Peter, Nicholas, Daniel, Michael, Protodeacon, Lazarus, Deacons, Horia and Jorge, <coughs> Mums Nicodemus and Kyriel, Mother Ioana and Mother Cassiana, Sabikas, John and Seraphim, Reader Ezekiel, Matushkas, Larissa, Melanie, Tamara, Gretchen, Kathy, Mara, Anastasia and Kathy, Edward, Vincent, Anastasia, Norma, Robert, Laura, Damien, Sue, Jan, Ruth, Kenneth, and Joseph, Penelope, Alexander, Virginia, Gabriel, Paraskeva, Maria, Valeri, George, Naira, Don, Cynthia, Zachary, Herman, Adrian, Suzanne, Ekaterina, Gabriella, Ekaterina, David, Mary, Kathy, Joshua, Tina, Vito, Sava, Lola, Ku, Danielle, David, Elizabeth, Diana, Arlene, Nathan, Ann, Jesse, Mark, Anthony, Joseph, Michael, Ann, Nina, Adam, Senya, Sarah, Anna, Pat, William, Pacomia, Julia, Sophia, Michael, Adelaide, Margaret, Michael, Efrosini, Christina, Ava, Christina, John, Mary, Donia, Robert, Marianne, Alan, Gregory, Nina, Tran, Macrina, Zachary, Lois, Peter, Lubolf, James, Paul, Demetrius, Margaret, Larissa, and thy loving kindness pardon all their sins, whether voluntary or involuntary. We can raise them up in their bed of sickness. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Again we pray thee, O Lord our God, have mercy on thy servants, Bishop Alexei, Archimedes, Zacharias, Abed, Nicholas, Rita, Richard, Vincent, Charles, Georgi, Zachary, Tara, Carl, Pat, Nina, Jesse, Robert, Raina, Hiro, Deacon, Mark, Varus, Angel, Tina, Kiana, Kathy, Lorraine, Michael, Stephanie, Damien, Ekaterina, Andy, Priest, Joel, and Anton, Larry, Brian, Alex, Sherman, James, Romanus, Mary, Barbara, Anna, Jeremiah, John, Salome, Panayoti, Eli, Gabriel, Dasha, Cynthia, Ann, Emma, Kevin, Richard, Priest, Philip, Anna, Joseph, Much, Gloria, Cole, Alan, Amelia, Lawrence, Ariana, Kathy, Cecilia, Alexander, Joshua, Matushka, Michaela, and Anastasia, to thy grace and compassion, filling all their petitions and forgiving all their sins, accept their prayers and alms before the throne of thy dominion, and protect them from enemies both visible and invisible, to deliver them from temptation, sorrow, danger, and disease, and grant them health and length of days. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Mankind unto thee do we 
and now glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, you catechumens. Let us the faithful pray for the catechumens that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he may teach them the word of truth. May reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, and he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your hands unto the Lord, ye Catholic humans. That with us the host may glorify the all honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. All catechumens depart, our catechumens, all that are catechumens depart. Let no catechumen remain. Let us the faithful again and again in peace pray unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the healing of all, let us pray to the Lord. This holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. We may be delivered from all affliction, my danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. That God and always by thy might, we may send out glory to thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages.
Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The right reverend out of this holy monastery, our command, right Sergius, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always now and ever into ages of Asia. The brotherhood of this holy monastery, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always now and ever into ages of Asia. This country, its president, all civil authorities, and those that serve in the armed forces, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always now and ever into ages of Asia. The clergy, the monastics, and all that are persecuted and suffer for the Orthodox faith. The founders and benefactors of this holy habitation, the seminaries, faculty, staff, administration, and students, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever to ages of Asia. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever to ages of Asia. seat of Christ, let us ask. Liberating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with an all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
the holy oblation in peace.
Especially if thy most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, Theotokos and ever virgin Mary.
only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
body of thy precious blood, be for me the bread of everlasting life, healing me of manifold afflictions. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Make me worthy to partake of thy most pure body and thy divine blood of Christ, for I am wretched and unworthy, vile by a seed Most holy Theotokos, save us, O bounteous land, O blessed bride of God. Though unsown, thou didst bear the ear of grain that saves the world. Grant that I may eat of it and find salvation. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Give me flowing tears, O Master Christ, to wash the filth from my heart. In good conscience purified, let me come with fear and faith to commune of thy divine gifts. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Let thy most pure body and thy divine blood be the remission of my sins, O lover of man, unto the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, life everlasting, and estrangement from passions and sorrows. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O most holy table of the heavenly bread that came down from on high for the sake of his mercy toward us, giving new life to the world. Though I am unworthy, grant me now to taste of human fear and to live. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Made flesh for our sake, thou didst will to be slaughtered like a sheep on account of the sins of man, O Lord, extreme in mercy. I therefore pray thee, cleanse my iniquities as well. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Heal the wounds of my soul, O Lord and Master, and sanctify me fully. I am a wretch, but grant that I may partake of thy divine and mystical supper. Most holy Theotokos, save us. One there is who came from thy womb, O Lady. Incline toward me his mercy. I am thy servant. Keep me undefiled and without stain, so that I may be sanctified receiving the spiritual pearl. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. As thou didst foretell, O Christ, so may it come to pass for thy poor servant. Abide in me as thou hast promised, for behold, I eat thy flesh and drink thy blood. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O God, thou word of God, May the glowing coal of thy body bring light to my gloom, and may thy blood bring purity to my defiled soul. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O Mary, Mother of God, precious dwelling of fragrance, by thy prayers make me a chosen vessel, that I may partake of the sacred things of thy Son. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Sanctify my mind, my soul, and heart, O Master and Savior, and my body as well, and grant that without condemnation I may approach the dread mysteries. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Estrange me from the passions, O Christ. Join me to thy grace, and confirm me in life through the communion of thy holy mysteries. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O God, holy word of God, through the prayers of thy holy mother, Sanctify the whole of me as I approach thy divine mysteries. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. May the communion of thine immortal mysteries be for me now a fountain of blessings. May it be for me light and life and dispassion. May it lead to my success and growth in divine virtue, that I may glorify thee, O Christ, who alone art good. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. I draw near to thy divine and immortal mysteries with love and trembling and reverence. May I be delivered from passions, enemies, want, and every sorrow, and grant that I may sing to thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers.
Father, and to the Son of the Blood. Therefore, I pray that you have mercy upon us, and that you have for the voluntary and voluntary word of the deed from the knowledge of the difference. And that you wish to take our condemnation of those who miss you for the remission of my sins and the life everlasting. Amen. On that mystical supper, Son of God, I send you today as a communicant from all the speakers and mysteries to their enemies. Feel like you this word, and this word, and feel like your testimony, remember my Lord, and my children. In the communion of the holy mysteries, we to my judgment, and to my condemnation of the Lord, and to the healing of the soul and body.
John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, Tikhon of Zadonska, Heavenly Patron, Tikhon of Moscow, the founder of this holy habitation, of the Holy and Venerable Mother, Nina, the Enlightenment of George, Eagle, the Apostles, whom we keep this day, of the Holy and Righteous Son, such as of God, Joy, Kim, and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, he is good, and loves mankind. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Glory to Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord, Lord. On this day of the leave-taking of Theophany, we have to always go back to our baptism and remember our baptism. Our, that's not something that happened sometime in the past that we just leave there. While it is in some sense in the past, it is always now and always present because the grace of baptism remains indelible within our hearts. We must always try to dust off the dust of our hearts that we might find that grace again and be renewed as St. Seraphim says, acquire the Holy Spirit because it is already there through the grace of baptism. We just have to rediscover it and make it more prevalent again in our life. In this great gospel today with this blind man crying out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, clearly we have a precursor of the Jesus prayer, quite obviously, because this son of David became known as the son of God. And so this man cries out and cries out despite what people are saying around him, trying to distract him from praying. But he continues to cry out no matter what the world is saying, no matter what the news is saying, no matter what anything is saying, he cries out, Jesus, have mercy on me, because he needs that mercy. And one of the great temptations we have, according to Martin the ascetic, is forgetfulness, forgetfulness of God. We should never forget God. I've told many of you I know in the past this story, so some of you are familiar with it, of Elder Ephraim when he first became a hierodeacon. All he was ever allowed to say as a, hier as a monk with Elder Joseph was, Kyrie Jesus Christ have mercy Lord Jesus Christ have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ have mercy me. They never got to talk. So he was ordained a deacon and he goes out for his first litany and he gets in front of the doors. Instead of saying, in peace let us pray to the Lord, he said, Kyrie Jesus Christ me. Now it sounds funny, but it shows what he had trained his tongue to say. So when we have vile words coming out of our mouths or anger or things we shouldn't be saying or gossip, if we had trained our tongues to say, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, more likely than not, that is what will learn to come out. It is the same if we are prone to be very silent, then use that silence to keep in our hearts with Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. And as St. Paisio says, if we're prone to talkativeness, be talkative with Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. And so doing, we bring that remembrance to God in our life, that presence of Christ in our life always, that that presence will be there. I know one time a monk told me that he'd gone to confession and told at the time Father George, now Bishop George, something that he had done. And Bishop George said to him, were you saying the prayer? He goes, well, of course I wasn't saying the prayer. Bishop George says, hmm, maybe you should have been saying the prayer. <laughs> Christ will keep us from sin and change our way, change our direction in life. So cry out, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. And never cease. Amen. Father Sergius is traveling and will be back tomorrow. He and Brother Andrew went to California to several parishes with St. Anna. There will be a Malevin after the veneration of the cross, a grandfather, Caleb, whatever names you have, because she is quick to hear. Um, Students are back. Of course, seminary starts tomorrow. Be prepared for that, ready for that. Um, I don't know of any other announcements to you. Of course, we have coffee hour next door. Everybody is welcome to attend. So thank you and have a blessed end of this feast today and a good end, beginning to the school year. I bet there's, is there a Nina in the room? It could not be a Nina. We have a Nina that comes here. Watch her not be your dad. That is a birthday one. I'll do that. A prosperous and peaceful life, for us of all good things, grant to the Lord, to thy servants, those who celebrate the main day this day, the servant of God, Michael, who celebrates his birthday, preserves them for many years. Lord, grant to
I thank thee, O Lord my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but hast made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune with thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes didst die and rise again, and gave us, us these dread and life-giving mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith and a shame, a love unfeigned, the fullness of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace and live no longer for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor. Passing from this life in the hope of eternal life, may I attain to the everlasting rest, for the voice of those who feast is unceasing, and the sweetness of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those that love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master Christ our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life-giving mysteries. I therefore pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me, even to my last breath, to partake worthily and with a pure conscience of thy holy things, for the remissions of sins and life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good, and to thee we do send up glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art a fire, consuming the unworthy. Let me not be consumed, O my Creator, but instead enter into my joints, all my members, my reins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse the soul, cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings. Make firm my joints and bones, illumine my five senses. Nail down the whole of me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me beauty, understanding, and illumination. Show me to be the dwelling of thy spirit alone and not the dwelling of sin. May every evil deed, every carnal passion flee from me as from a fire, as I become thy house through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers in thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant, a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and brightness of our souls, O good one. And to thee, our Master and God, do we send up glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, and thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me, who am a sinner, worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory, at thy dread second coming, through the prayers of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy, I thank thee for although I am unworthy, thou hast made me worthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou that gavest birth to the true light. Enliven me who am deadened by sin, thou that gavest birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings and make me worthy even to my last breath to receive uncondemned the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may praise and glorify thee all the days of my life, for thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Glory of the 
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Grace shining forth from thy lips like a beacon has enlightened the universe. It has shown to the world the riches of poverty. It has revealed to us the heights of humility. Teaching us by thy words, O Father John Chrysostom, intercede before the word Christ our God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From heaven thou didst receive the grace of God, teaching us by thy words to worship the one God in Trinity. We worthily praise thee, O blessed John Chrysostom, well-pleasing to God, for thou art a teacher revealing things divine. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Steadfast protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cries of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for thou dost ever protect those who honor thee. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Christ our true God, and of all the saints, have mercy on us. 